Hi, and welcome to Power Egg. For this video, we will look at the best practice for implementing role level security and object level security in the same Power BI report. We will test three different solutions and will find the best solution that is the most user friendly that hides columns and rows to a specific user. For this, we have set up a Contoso database and a local SQL server, have Power BI desktop installed, and will use Tabula Editor as an external tool. Let's have a look at the first and most basic solution. For the first solution, we have created a power user who will be able to see all the data and a German user who will not be able to see the data. Let's have a look at how we can build a report. Step one, we have to add all the data to the table and have a look again at what we really want. The data we add includes the KPI profit margin, customer country, product category, and color. So here we are in Power BI, and I've already created a page for us. Um, this is a page with a matrix vis visualization where we will be going to add um, as rows country. So let's add countries from the Contoso customer. And then we want to add the KPA profit margin as a value. And as columns for this visualization, uh, let's use category and color. And color we will add to the columns. We will drill down all the way to see the data. And wonderful. So what we want to do <clears throat> is we want to create a user role for a user that can only see German data and is not allowed to see the color column. This makes no sense, but this is just for the purpose of this video. For step two, we will have to define the role level security for the German user and the power user. We will do this by creating a user role table in query editor by copying the country table from the data source. We will select only the country column, delete all the duplicates, add the power user column and the German user column to the table. Then we will connect the table to the Contoso customer table via country. We will add role level security to the role level security table, where Germany, a little DAX expression, where Germany user equals one or power user equals one. Finally, we will test the solution and view the roles. All right, back in Power BI, let's create the table with the role level security. We go to the query editor. We go to the Contoso customer table. We can see all the data we have here. Country is um, what, we, what we want to filter. So let's duplicate it, rename it. Contoso customer role level security. Select the column that we want, which is only country. Select the column again, remove rows, remove duplicates. And here we have a list of all the countries. Now what we need to do is we need to add a custom column. So let's go ahead and add a custom column. Let's call this power user. And power user, we said we want the user to see all the data. So we will just enter one as a value. Brilliant. All right, so let's create the second column for the Germany user. Let's call this Germany user. I'll write an if statement, if country, equals Germany, then one else null. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, perfect. The last thing we need to do is we need to transform the columns to all number. Brilliant. And now we can close and apply.
Perfect. All right, we have loaded the role level security table. So let's connect to the customer table. Let's go to the modeling view, find the table we created. Perfect. And connect country to country for the customer table. Wonderful. Now we go back to the report. We go on modeling again, and now we have to create the two user roles. So the first role will be the power user and the second role will be the Germany user. And the Germany user should only see German data. So we will say Germany user is one, which will filter the roles to um, the value one, which is found in the Germany user column, uh, which will be only the German data. And here we don't have to do anything because uh, the power user is supposed to see anything, but just for fun, let's also add a DAX expression to be sure in case anything changes. So a quick review. Why did we create a table for the role level security? Why didn't we just manage the roles on the uh, main table? The reason is because this way it's easy to manage. If we go back to the table, I feel like this is quite a good overview on who has what permission. And we can simply add new users, new user roles, and always say that it's supposed to be one. All right. So finally, let's test the solution. We go on modeling, view as, German user. Perfect, we only see German data. Power user, wonderful, all the data, brilliant. For step three and the final step, we'll define the object level security for the German user and the power user. We have to open tabular editor for this, which is an external tool. We will navigate to the column that we want to hide and we, set, we will set the object level security to none. Finally, again, we will test the solution via using view roles. So back in Power BI, we want to define the object level, object level security. This means that we want the German user not to be able to see the color. For this, let's go to external tools, open the tabular editor. Once it's open, click on tables. Let's go to the table we want to filter, the column. We go to the, uh, sorry, wrong table. We go to the product table and we click on color. Now down here at translations, perspectives and security, we can define the object level security. So let's click on that and we can see the two user roles we have created. We have the power user, who should by default see all the columns, uh, this column, and we have the German user. And this we want to change. So we click on the drop down, go to none. And this way, hopefully, let's click and save the German user will not be able to see the color column. Let's close this. And what is going to happen is that once we click on modeling and view roles and the German user, we should see an error because the German user is not supposed to see the color. So let's click on that and perfect. Something's wrong. This is not an ideal situation for a user. Uh, of course, what we want to do in an ideal world is to simply hide the column. And this way the user will not be irritated or, 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 or think that this report is broken. Now let's check the power user to see if it works. And perfect, the power user can see everything as wanted. 
Okay, well done. We have created the first solution and the most basic solution where object level security and role level security are working together in the same report. However, we do not have an optimal solution since we get an error message and the report seems broken to a specific user. So let's have a look how we can work around this problem.